The South has a highly developed economy and is starting to plateau and is in dire need of new avenues for growth. The North provides those opportunities through its untapped natural resources, extensive need for new industries and infrastructure, an expanded labor pool, and in the long run, a larger combined domestic market. Although South Korea is acclaimed as a high-tech economic marvel, it has serious limitations. Its chaebol system of crony capitalism stifles competition, while its government-run banking system only greases the wheels of those same conglomerates, limiting access to capital for small and medium-sized firms. This severely limits entrepreneurship, the main driver of innovation and job growth. As a result, frustrated, highly educated and tech-savvy youth lack opportunities for gainful employment, as well as upward mobility and a pathway to realize their dreams. South Korea has the highest rate of unemployment among college graduates of any developed nation. This is a huge waste of talent, as well as socially unsettling. I have long advocated opening up the Korean economy to greater competition and direct foreign investment. One of the most important steps to accomplish this is to privatize Korean banking in order to make it more market-oriented in providing credit to small and mid-sized companies. Such reforms would yield immediate benefits for the South as more Koreans engage in entrepreneurial activities and capital creation. With these changes, Seoul could become the new business and financial center of Northeast Asia. The recent crackdown of freedoms in Hong Kong makes Seoul a natural alternative due to its strategic location, stable democratic government, stellar infrastructure, innovative high-tech sector, and relatively open markets. With the financial and banking reforms I have advocated, it could become a hub in the Pacific Rim, as New York and London are in the Atlantic sphere, making it one of the most dynamic cities in the world. Most importantly, the Korean Dream Vision provides a new opportunity for Koreans to take charge of our own destiny and create a new nation rising above the existing framework of division. Unlike the 20th century, today it is realistic to assume that a global consensus can be built around the principle of Korean self-determination. It means that we, as Koreans, have a unique chance to realize the Hongi Ingan ideal of building a model nation if we could only dare to dream together. If we don't align our national aspirations for all Koreans, this opportunity could be lost.